What's up, guys? It's my birthday. And you know what I want to do with this time more than anything else? Talk about watching other people play video games. Specifically, someone else who's got the same birthday as me, and who I love to see play. As common as the whole Let's Play phenomenon has become, there's a man who predates even Slow Beef as the forefather of the genre. That man is Shinya Arino, also known as the Kacho, and his comedy program, Game Center CX, is how you design for Let's Plays. Game Center CX is a comedy show produced by Fuji TV, beginning in 2003 and spanning over 200 episodes, dozens of specials, and a feature-length film to keep running to the present day. In each episode, Chief Arino is challenged to complete a game within a time limit, usually 12 hours, though it might be an hour and a half longer depending on when his train home gets there, until he can see an ending screen. These 12 hours are compressed into one heavily edited hour, showcasing his greatest moments of success and biggest failures during a run. On paper, it's simple enough. A guy remains charming for about 45 minutes of entertainment at a time, records some skits also related to video games, and gets to go home early if he beats a game really fast. Pretty much anyone can do that in today's YouTube environment with the same level of technical competency that the show provides. So what's made it endure for decades? We'll be taking a look at the Season 3 doubleheader on Super Mario World to find out. The first thing you'll notice about the program are its rather low production values. Game Center CX is shot from a few camera angles in a single office cubicle, with very little pomp or circumstance to cinematography. And there lies Game Center CX's first strength, how humble it is. Areno is... not very good at games, as he quickly demonstrates by struggling with this very easy first world of the game and treating every small victory as a triumph. However, he doesn't grow frustrated with the title, nor does he project any kind of over-the-top character or self-confidence. When Arino does say something braggadocious, it's often very tongue-in-cheek, with the Chief knowing he's likely to eat his words more often than not. It feels very human and very honest, and that honesty is reflected in both the show's presentation and Arino's attitude. Many Let's Players tend to accentuate the negative or play up a certain character or aspects of themselves for the sake of comedy. This can lead to some ultimately funny lines, but the shelf life of a character doing the same routine is very limited. Arino makes the connection more human, because the audience knows that this is a man who loves video games, just trying his best to share how he's entertained by the game. He jokes around, but never specifically tries to be entertaining, letting the Kacho's audience cheer for him incredibly naturally. While having a humble presentation is excellent for reliability, it's not exactly the hook that'll keep a new viewer interested. This is when Game Center CX strikes with its second powerful tool, dramatic tension. Knowing that it would need to stand out from the idea of man plays video games and is sometimes funny, Game Center CX frames itself with a narrator interjecting at multiple points. This narrator, Tsuyoshi Khan, explains game mechanics to an audience unfamiliar with the game, highlights certain actions that Areno does to exaggerate his successes and failures, and occasionally harasses Areno by informing him that his time to play the game is running out. This constant presence allows Areno's actions to be magnified, and allows for some of the best, most overdramatic exaggerations of simple actions. At one point, Arino nudges the Super Famicom on accident, causing the game to freeze. Arino briefly berates himself and laments that he'll have to do about two worlds worth of levels again when he was finally making good progress. This event isn't that funny, but it's amplified tenfold with slick editing treating it as a cataclysmic event. How can Arino-san ever recover from this heartbreaking loss? 
Or how can he overcome his greatest rival, the fearsome Kameku from the World 3 Castle, who mocks him with every defeat? Fear the geometric shapes. This clever editing and framing continues for the entirety of episodes, allowing Areno's charming and humble behavior to shine through at all times. But what other secrets does the Kacho hold in store? Game Center CX is technically classified as a variety show, as the main challenge segment is broken up by a few skit segments. Usually this will include a season-specific section, like trying to guess a game based on its sales tagline, or testing out Game & Watch titles to see if Arino can talk himself to buying one at its current market price as well as a spotlight on a few retro games from a specific year and a trip to a local arcade. While the other segments are generally solid, it's the visits to other game centers that really bring out the most in Areno. Seeing him in a different context and light, Areno is often very jovial and sarcastic to those he meets on the street and invites to play games with him. Some of his best moments come from when he tries and fails to show off in front of thoroughly unimpressed children, or childishly gloats when he barely beats them at video games. These segments show Areno at his most sharp, doing some of his best improv work and playing off completely normal people just trying to be on TV with a guy who plays video games for a living. It's funny, it's sarcastic, and it's genuinely heartwarming at times. Each arcade visit manages to be its own little adventure to look forward to, and the variability and tonal shift from the more focused challenges make them excellent palate cleansers. As each episode grows closer to its hour mark, one element is emphasized above all others, time. Areno's 12-hour time limit becomes a source of panic, as failing to finish a game often wounds his pride, and has resulted in demotions in his fictional company. But more importantly, it's incredibly easy to get absorbed into. Many of us can admit to having a time where we just won't stop playing a game because we're determined to beat a certain level or boss, no matter how long it takes. Kacho's struggles are our own struggles, taken to the extreme when he's told that his next continue will be his last. After seeing him fall to Bowser again and again, being told that he has failed more than 80 times on a single boss, and saying Arenos on his last continue, suddenly the situation has waked. His battle against a silly video game becomes a battle to save the world. Just because that's the kind of weight we give any video game we're truly invested in. It's this final, almost intangible piece of the puzzle, relatability, that draws you in and makes you truly hope and believe that he can pull it off. When he does, and the staff calls it a miracle, you really believe it is one. I don't mean to sit here and just praise Game Center CX, so if you guys want to buy the English translated DVD off of Amazon to show support for more episodes coming over to the West, I will shill for days for that. But I feel like its longevity serves as a lesson to be learned for all Let's Players. Areno isn't an exceptional gamer, he's not young or cute, he doesn't have an over-the-top personality or extensive knowledge of what he plays, but everything that goes into each episode of Game Center CX earnestness, the honesty, the variety, the tension, the investment, gives it something truly wonderful. Heart. Areno cares about his performance. He cares about games. He cares about having fun with his staff and letting that shine through to his audience. Let that show in your own playthroughs of games, too. If you're looking for a few episodes to start on, all of Season 4 is pretty fantastic. Anything with quiz in the title is a riot, and his one-on-one -on -one mini-episode of Balloon Fight, guest-starring the late and great Satoru Iwata, 
is truly a wonderful moment shared between two friends. With a performance at the legendary Bokudan and three video games based on the show under his belt, Arino is showing no signs of slowing. And neither should you. Learn from the Kacho. Learn how to design for Let's Plays. I like you, live and like <笑><笑>オッケーなのかな<笑>